Hello everyone and welcome to another Modswell video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a mod called Animated Armory New Weapons with Animations. I've been asked to do this by a subscriber and I am more than happy to oblige. I plan on doing more subscriber or viewer requests so if you have any of those please leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to get around to them. Animated Armory is a work in progress worth keeping your eyes on. I have been excited to play with this mod for a while now, so let's do exactly that. Animated Armory is a mod that is promising an awful lot. Brand new weapons as well as weapon types added to the leveled list via script making it more compatible with other mods editing that sweet sweet loot. Whilst this is great, the real heroics are actually done under the surface. We get weapon specific animations. This has been a huge sticking point that would make or break new weapons being added to the game. Spears for example would become more viable should they have their own animations and somehow Brack on my car has managed to translate Nick and Nack's mod from Nexus. I was told this was impossible a few times due to requiring Nemesis and a script extender both of which aren't available on Xbox. So when I saw this mod pop up I had to stop what I was doing to test it out. I do want to somewhat temper expectations at this point and state most of the animations are currently just edits on speed, but even still, this mod is performing an interesting function. As it currently stands, Animated Armory is going to set you back 105 megabytes. Bracker does have plans on creating a lower res version to cut down the cost, but I'm unsure how long until something like that would be released. On top of this there are plans to add the ultimate dodge mod patch. Side note, this morning a new version popped up for 143 megabytes that does actually include the ultimate dodge mod. In fact it includes the newer updated version that Lexifer put together for us on Xbox. Back of my car has made it very clear, this mod is still a work in progress. Some, well actually most weapon animations currently not working. The weapons themselves will still show in loot or on NPCs and work like a weapon of their type using either vanilla animations or the ones that you have installed. So you would still have new weapons to mess around with whilst waiting for the mod to be finished. I suggest putting this mod below your animations to make sure it works correctly. With all of the admin side done, let's take a look at the more fun aspect, the weapons and animations themselves. Every weapon type I am about to mention as a version craftable for each of the crafting materials. They are also made using edits of vanilla assets meaning they will adopt many of your retexture mods making them line up perfectly with your desired look. First up we have rapiers. These weapons deal less damage than a sword but have a larger range, increase critical damage and can be wielded much faster. They suit characters using a lighter build that focuses on speed. As for right now this weapon type will just use a faster version of the one-handed sword animations. It actually works really nicely and so far I have these down as a weapon type worth your time. They look like a nice, sleek, light weapon and are amongst my favourites of the new additions. Next up are pikes. Pikes are a two-handed weapon that deals less damage than a greatsword. This is balanced off against their superior range and speed. Unfortunately, pikes are currently using the vanilla animations, meaning they're swung like an axe. This was a little disappointing for me as they were one of the weapon types I'm most excited to play with properly. When this mod is ready, pikes will be a number one pick for any horseback knight. As it stands, these are still incredibly viable and shouldn't be overlooked, as long as you can move past the current animations. Similar to the pikes, we also get halberds. Halberds are lower in damage than a greatsword, but again, they have far better range and speed to make up for it. Another weapon that would hugely benefit from its own animations due to how it would be used. Unfortunately, as it stands, these still use an edited vanilla animation. Again, this would suit a character that spends time on horseback. When these are all finished, I will likely be making a Khajiit called Kimari. Next up is the Quarterstaff, another two-handed weapon. Quarterstaff steal only slightly more damage than a mace but benefit from a multi-attacking power attack. The Quarterstaff would suit a monk styled build amongst others. It would hugely benefit from its own animations as again this would not be wielded like the other two-handed weapons. 
Currently the animations are an edited version of vanilla which doesn't really suit the weapon type at all. They do however look great and will be a welcome addition when everything is finalised. We also get claws. These are a knuckle duster style weapon with large spikes like wolverines. They deal less damage than a dagger but benefit from a stackable bleed effect. The weapon is designed to be wielded in both hands to quickly stack debuffs. It will unleash a flurry of attacks when dual wielded. This is a really niche style of weapon and will likely split the room. It would be cool to use these in an assassin's build. This weapon type seems to benefit from its own animations. Swiping, slashing and slapping at enemies with some of the coolest looking weapons. Honestly, the elven set is fantastic. Finally, we have my absolute favourite new addition, the Chain Whip. This weapon is different from everything else on this list or even in the game. The Chain Whip is a one-handed weapon that deals low damage and moves slower than a sword. To make up for the downsides, it has a near instant recoil recovery and really quite decent range. It is meant to be used in the offhand and would complement something like a rapier for fast damage and a slightly longer distance than any one-handed attacker. This weapon would suit a few pretty dark build styles, let's just say like an assassin. This weapon has custom animations which has the character wildly snapping at the air and at foes. The weapon itself is also animated and whilst it looks a little funky, it's not bothering me at all. I really love this weapon type and I am happy to have it included. My takeaway from testing this out is that when it's finished, it will be the best weapon edition mod going. It will allow us to use so many different styles of combat and weapons we didn't think possible on console. It also opens up possibilities for the future. If Bracca really has cracked the code for this mod, then our game is going to be 100 times better. Not only is this mod worth its weighty price, but it's also easily worth it. To think that that's going to be going down and the mod is going to be expanded and improved is quite shocking. At 105 megabytes, it is arguably close to the limit of acceptable cost for just the new items added how they have been. This mod feels natural across the board and has helped me enjoy raiding a few camps. Due to the leveled list edits, these items are put into the hands of enemies and they are a new issue to handle. That for me makes the game feel fresh. Is it 105 megabytes worth of fresh content? I'm not sure, but come the finished product, this mod will be worth that and more extremely easily. So I feel like I've covered the mod. Maybe it isn't as complete as it could be, but this is a really fantastic effort and shows how the modders are evolving constantly. We are getting so many, this won't work on Xbox mods. And this is down to the porters experimenting and finding ways around the problem. And on that nugget, I am going to call it. If this video has been helpful, perhaps you'd consider subscribing to the channel, maybe leaving a little like to help boost the video. If you like the way I give my information, you may also like to come and join me in some of the other places I hang out, such as the Skyrim Xbox Mod subreddit or my Discord server. I try and help as many people as I can, and those are the most effective ways of reaching me. I have left links to the mod for both Xbox and PC in the description below, as well as links to all of my load orders and a donation page for anyone who would like to come and help the channel. For now though, thank you for watching so far into the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.